so welcome back to another video i have finally completed my closet and this is what it's looking like i stepped right in front of the light but it is finally complete all of it my wallpaper which i was waiting for my mirror which is gold so if you're interested to see my closet transformation then just keep on watching This is what it's looking like right now. Um, don't mind all that. The reason I already put my clothes in is because my clothes has been out of my closet since I think April. And it's been... Oh, just my son is burping in the background. Oh my god. So, um, and it's been kind of spread all over the house. Kind of, sort of. And so I wanted to make sure that once we got some poles in could just go ahead and hang stuff because I needed to hang things but I wanted to show y'all that this is really high up here but I have enough to still fit my hats so my hats are all along there um, and they worked out pretty good so I had some space there this shelf is apparently not available and I don't know if it's gonna come back in stock I'm gonna see if I can buy it online we shall you can see here um, it is still not a hundred percent complete we still need a frame for the door around the door and we still need the base boards I think that's what they're called this is just an old baseboard we had and so just to kind of give it the look and for pictures like for Instagram <laughs> I put it on there um, but we still have to get the baseboards there and here and so yeah but for the most part, the actual closet itself is complete. And the last piece that we were waiting for was this wallpaper. And so this wallpaper we received last week. We went, or actually the week before, because we were on vacation last week. Um, and we put it up before uh, we went on vacation. And then the mirror that I got, um, I was very specific about what kind of mirror I needed. I needed a very thin mirror, but I wanted it to be gold. So I found this one from Bed Bath & Beyond. And the reason I needed a really thin one is because I needed to make sure that the um, drawers were clear, would clear it and it barely, it barely clears it. And so, but it does, so that's good. And um, I'm in love with the gold frame mirror. And then this little rug, I think I got from Overstock, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the rug is from Overstock. So the wallpaper is um, inspired by um, somebody that I follow. I think it was on Instagram. It's uh, Michelle. Michelle Bell um, has this for her little girl's room, and I fell in love with it. But then I went online, and I looked for it, and it was really expensive. And so I actually found it on AliExpress, and it was the exact print. And so I ordered it, but one, it took a long time for it to get here. And two, um, it is self-adhesive, but I think because it is not, like, the best quality, it didn't stick to the wall because of the... Um, because we have textured walls and I we weren't going to not have textured walls and we're not going <laughs> to take the texture off. So we went ahead and put it over a textured wall. But so we bought this um, multi-purpose adhesive, spray-on adhesive that we just sprayed on the wall and then stuck 
the wallpaper to it and it worked just fine and so yeah that's how we got the wallpaper and it was a fraction of the cost um i think i paid fifty dollars for this um wall and we have i have all this extra um that i didn't use because it came so much later i was hoping it'd come before we put this up and so we only could get it on here and then just a little bit back there and so it's not sorry just a little bit back there so it's not um all the entire wall but it gives me the look which is what i was going for also before we get too um, involved with the inside of the closet i do want to mention that i still have this kind of like hanging sandal thing um that i had before we did the remodel and the reason I left it up is because I hold all of my sandals on here year round so I don't like take my summer sandals and put them away anywhere. I just keep them hanging here and it's one of those, um, see if I can show y'all. It's one of those like hanging ones that had hooks and we took the hooks off and then my husband just drilled them into the wall and so this thing is not going anywhere. It's been up here for years and it's perfect. Um, I can see all my sandals and I clean out anytime I like, get new sandals I clear out stuff that I haven't worn in a while. Okay, so when it comes to what we got, this is obviously the pack system from Ikea. I'll, I'll put in the measurements here, but it's the 29 inch, a 22 inch, and that's another 22 inch one in here. And then this is a 19, but we did the more narrow one. And so where these are a little bit deeper, um, this is more narrow because I, when I first thought of my vision, I thought I was able to put one in the, I was able to put this in the corner and this over here, but it didn't work out that way. And so we ended up having to put the, 19 one here and tuck the 22 inch one like behind here and so i've got obviously more hanging space back there and the shelf goes out further but it's kind of hidden and so that's what we did i did all the measuring i did all of, like the putting together and so i may have not been the best person to do it but it works for my closet it works for me and we made it work <laughs> but so this is it and so um i did have a little bit of space here up top and I put all of my hats, this is all the hats I have. And um, so they're all kind of lined up there. I used to have them hanging here and I have a piece of artwork that's going up there, but I haven't framed it yet. So when I put it all together, I knew I wanted a hanging space all the way across here. And then an additional hanging space here, whether it's for like pants or dresses or skirts, I knew I wanted there. And I knew I wanted a long section for dresses that I plan to switch out in the winter for jack. All right, so as you can see, I do have everything color coordinated. So I went from darks to lights to color, and then here are my short dresses, and along the side are um, skirts, shorts, and um, pants, like dress pants. So that's that little section, and then all the rest of these are shorter dresses. And then all of these are longer midi to maxi dresses. And what I did is use kind of um, this kind of hack. What do you do? Uh, can, what are these? Uh, like can little like lid things. And you use them as extensions to just hang and make it longer. And so I did that for my dresses. These are also color coordinated as well. Um, but it works out perfect because with the long dresses, even my longest dress wouldn't touch the ground, obviously. So I can add to it and make and make it as long as I need to because this space is super high. All right, and this section up here, I knew I wanted some storage space. And I knew I wanted these containers that would be uh, perfect for storing like my winter stuff in the summer. And then obviously my summer stuff in the winter <laughs> so like my bathing suits and things like that that I don't that I wouldn't use in the summer um in the winter would be up here so currently I have a bunch of sweaters up there and I do have another little like basket down here um kind of hidden away that has scarves back there and um right now the drawers have current everything that I would be currently using so this is this drawer is never going to change it's always going to have my jeans and so I have all of my jeans rolled up in here and then the next drawer because it's also glass um but it wasn't as cohesive as the jean drawer it's more kind of like a mixture of shorts and like uh biker shorts mixed uh material shorts and then my kind of 
like linen and other kind of pants that aren't dress pants but they're not jeans are here and are so I have these designer shoe box right here. This is another shoe box, but I just used the lid. This lid doesn't come off. It's just like it goes all the way around um, for some flats that I have. And then this is for a bag. And so I put it in the front as to kind of make it more clean uh, versus seeing a bunch of different like colors and patterns and things in here. So this drawer is kind of like shorts, shorts and like miscellaneous pants. And then this is all my bathing suits and we just get, got back from vacation. So some bathing suits are missing, are in the wash or currently have been washed but not put away yet. Um, and then this kind of like cover ups here that I didn't want to hang because of the knit material. But this is all my bathing suits right here. And what I like about these, if you see here, that I've got, they're plenty deep, um, both this way and that way. And so um, I'm able to put in uh, another layer not that I have you know that I would need another layer but when it comes to like sweaters it's going to be pretty chunky and I'm going to be able to fit pretty much my sweaters pretty well in here and it's not going to be like overflowing in other words so they're a nice depth um, they have a nice depth to them this right here is all my leggings and workout clothes and so leggings joggers um, workout leggings and then workout shirts And this is kind of the miscellaneous drawer that hopefully I can put things away in those containers up there um, when I'm ready to switch out. But right now it's got like extra large tote bags in here, backpacks, and my hats. All right, so this area here, I knew I wanted to display my bags and I'm actually missing a bag that would go back there. But most of my larger bags are here and then um, I did do a little glass top on this piece so you could see um, what I put in here and they're just more like going out clutches there and then these are just more smaller bags clutches wallets um, just more bags because I have a ridiculous amount of bags um, I do have a little bit of storage down there so I put shoes um, and then back down here I was debating I'm doing like those pull out drawer shoe racks um, because I've got more shoes back there. Um, but these are shoes that I kind of pull for day to day. And so I'll rotate these like more summery flats to the more wintry flats once it's winter. And um, so these are my shorter dresses and those are all my long dresses. And that's pretty much it. Um, I do have this open shelf right here where I put uh, my athletic tennis shoes, oops my my athletic tennis shoes that I don't really pull for um, go up there and I'm working on a little stool that I keep in here that is um, old I've had it for years I actually have it right here so this little stool kind of sits in here and I need to reupholster it um, I think I found it like at a thrift store a long time ago but I love that it's already gold and then this I will reupholster and um, I'll keep it in here I use it a lot for standing on <laughs> to get my hats um but I use also sit down and, you know put my shoes on and things like that but um yeah this is pretty much it oh one last thing I did add oh I forgot to mention um real quick I had to get a I wasn't able to get the shelf that goes up here like this one the solid white one they said that it was out of stock and they wouldn't know when it was coming back and so they had these in stock um for like obviously the shelves and the drawers and so my husband was like just get the one with the glass you're not really going to be able to tell um that it it is glass and so i did i got the glass one on there and yeah, you can't really tell and it doesn't matter it still does the job and it has that little white thing on top and so it kind of all flows it all looks white so it's fine um up here i don't i wasn't planning to put anything but just as a little display i've got some some still in dot boxes from some purchases and then i use this for my still in dot shows to display jewelry but i have some um scarves and some belts in there and then i have my little acrylic um sunglass holder in here but yeah I, I mean i don't necessarily wanted to put anything there but just because it has some space i was able to and then i did buy this little extra piece because what i typically do when i have um when i get new clothes i like to i used to just hang it on random like things like this and i would just leave them there and it would be like hey it's 
my new garment, let me wear it. And so instead of doing that, I've just been hanging them here um, and then displaying them. That's an easy way for me to just have them displayed and it's like, hey, it's new, wear that. And so that's typically what I like to do with my new pieces is just keep them out um, right, right in front of me so I can see them and I can wear them and then wash them and put them away. So yeah, that is it. That is my new closet. I hope um, you guys love it as much as I do because I was so excited to do this. I've wanted a new closet for a long time. As you can see in the before pictures that I'll put in, the beginning is it was super pink and just it just looked really like not... Um, even when it was clean, it didn't look clean. It just was overwhelming a little bit for me. And so now I feel like it's super clean and organized and everything has a place. And I love it. So if you did like this, please give it a thumbs up. And consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.